I have not opened up this Pokemon card book since I was a young kid. This is back from like 1996, 1999, 2000, a long, long time ago. September 6th, 2024. We're going back in time, opening up. Pokemon card book from the late 90s. The thing is, I don't know like anything about these cards. I don't know the value. I don't know what they would be worth. We're gonna go in and take a peek, take a deep dive. And if there's something that catches your eye, drop in the comments what you're interested in. And if you actually know the value of these cards and know the value of the contents of the book as a whole, drop in the comments, let me know. We're gonna, we're gonna go through it. All right. See, for example, things like this. I don't know what this little mark in the corner right here means. It's like a, what is this? It says gym, right? What would a, what's a gym card? Gym card? Yeah. Like stuff like this in full Japanese. Hey. Another gym card. Hey. Like, yeah, drop in the comments, what do these things mean? <clears throat> I feel like this one just has foil on it, but it's, it may not actually be worth much. Like a foil background? No, it's, the image itself has foil. Yeah, that means it's a good, that was what they were talking about in the video. The, the, um, what do you call it? What did it say then? Remember the, what do you call it? Chad GPT was saying if the card has foil, like the image or something, is it, worth more? Like that's the one that's worth the most out of all of them? The image itself has foil, but nothing else? Like that, yeah. Hmm. So there's foil cards, holographic. They went down a list and foil was like the top one. Yeah, but there's a difference between foil for the whole card and foil for the image, for the image itself. You know what I mean? It could be just holographic. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't know. I don't know for sure. Holographic Yu-Gi-Oh cards and stuff. Man. Yeah. Yeah, and too, I'm wondering, just because it doesn't have... Japanese text on it, does that mean the card isn't? If you had something that had all the signs and symbols of a valuable card, but it wasn't in Japanese, does that make it less valuable if it was in English? I wonder. And this, what did you say the flower was again, Denzel? Uncommon? So. But then if it doesn't have a badge next to it, it means it's probably, I don't know. Common, Common yeah. What about things that have a metal on it? There's the metal next to it. Uh, it's all good. Let me see. It could be, uh, it's not holographic or anything, is it? So continuing the conversation, what about like, Pokemon cards that have a metal badge type symbol underneath the bottom right corner of the image? You know where Pokemon cards have different badges, the flower badge for uncommon and things like that. What about if it's a metal in, uh, icon, like an award medal that would hang from your neck. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Hopefully it does. The badge or symbol you're referring to, which resembles a medal that would hang from your neck, sounds like the set symbol used in Pokemon. Each card set has a unique icon that identifies which set the card belongs to. These symbols are located just below the image on the right side. The ones you're describing, like a medal or award type icon, could belong to several sets that were produced between 1996 and 1999. Here's a breakdown of what some of these symbols could mean. One, Gym Challenge, Gym Heroes Badge symbols. These sets feature symbols that look like gym badges, as these sets are focused on gym leaders from the original Pokemon series. The cards often have a gym badge symbol at the bottom, indicating which leader the card is associated with. These sets can contain both common and rare cards, with foil versions being particularly valuable. Wow. Metal-like symbols. You might be referring to the legendary collection or trainer cards that sometimes use metal-like symbols. The metal appearance can indicate that the card is part of a special set or was issued as part of a special set. bro. Are you petting this the stinking ass dog? Dog's Please, more. Look at this muck. 
that is super tough. I'm looking at the one, well, the one next was not like that, but that one is definitely like, is that a foil? Yeah, and then look at this promo. Look at this promo Mewtwo. That one I think might be rare. I've never seen a Mewtwo look like that. This is crazy, bro. <laughs> bro, I could only imagine the ones you would have, bro. Or the Neo sets sometimes feature special symbols. These badges card. often commemorate tournaments or events and are considered rarer. That was my favorite. If you have a card with such a symbol and it's in good condition, it could be of higher value, especially if it's from a limited edition set. To get a precise idea of the value so of these cool. cards, you would need <laughs> to identify the exact set and rarity symbol. Which could involve researching or consulting a Pokemon yeah, card database fire. or professional grading service like PSA. Some of these cards, particularly if they belong to a rare set or special edition, could be quite this a bit in good condition. Like, hey, somebody tell me in the comments, please. Somebody. Anybody. What do you say? Bro. Or is it the same card? Let me show you this thing, my bad. Yeah. Is it? Maybe. Yeah, these are gym cards, bro. Some of these are gym cards. One needs to go and look at me and say, at me. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, I forgot the back. Oh, a promo Pikachu? Don't know what this little swirl in the corner means, like that swirl image. But all this stuff, like what's it mean? What we got going on? You said 77% of bets? Oh, you're talking to me. I was on one time, me or the camera. 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 And both, you too. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, that's 77%. I don't know what the swirl is. They did say it could be um, promo. Not promo, but like the box. Now, they said a lot about, like, base sets. They said a lot about, like, original Pokemon. Like, I don't know what this dinosaur foot means or this bird foot means. Like a dinosaur foot badge or something. The gym badge, maybe? No, I don't think that's a gym badge. I don't know, though. Could be. I don't know. It says a dinosaur foot Yeah. There's, a Mist There's Misty's Power World. I feel like that's a base set. Or original, one of the original Pokemon or something. Rapidash, Cloyster. I have a better coughing, I already know. Yeah, like what is this? What is what is this badge right here? Stay 
Would you say um, the flower badge man again? Uh, it's uncommon. Uncommon? All right. Uncommon is not rare, though. I don't care if this is worth money or not. I love the way this squirtle looks. <laughs> I wonder, is this... Like, stuff like this, I wonder if this is on the card or is this... Pocket Monsters? Pocket monsters? What, Pokemon? Yeah, it says they're pocket. Called, they're called. Pokemon? Pocket? Pocket monsters? Poke pocket. means pocket and mon is monster? I never knew that. This is dying. This is dying. Never knew that. It's short for the Japanese phrase for pocket monsters. Poketo monsuta. Ponketo Monsuta? Oh, this is actually on the card itself. So, like, this one has... This one has damage. So, I do have some damage cards in here. You know any Digimon cards? Digimon? Digital monsters? I don't know if I have any Digimon cards. I used to You were a Digimon guy? I actually like Digimon more Really? Another gym? Gym badge? Hmm. Well, this one has red writing on it? What's this? See, you gotta see stuff like this, Denzeli. See, it has like, like some, some of them don't have red writing. Some of them don't have Japanese on it. Some of them don't. Some of them have a different illustration style. Some have a rare signal on it, a R on it. Some of them are for the base set. They're original Pokemon. Some of them aren't. Some have holographic on the image, but not on the entire card. Exactly. Why does this card have a red name? The carp, carp. Magic carp. Carp, carp, magic carp. You think Christian will answer if I if I hit him on Discord? Yeah. Might not be immediate, but he'll answer. I don't have Discord on my phone anymore. Well, There's that. There's that. Some of them have double stars next to them. And it says one edition. I have a first edition card, bro. One edition. I thought that was a numbered card. I was about to say. Yeah. Is it? It says edition one. This is the first edition. With double with double white stars. What about um, Pokemon cards that say Edition One, and there's two um, white stars on the bottom right corner of uh, underneath the image, the card image. What what about something like that? Pokemon cards that say Edition One. White stars beneath the card image are likely first edition Pokemon cards. The two white stars you've mentioned might be part of the 
design on certain types of Pokemon cards, but typically, First edition cards have a distinct symbol next to the left side of the card image, yep. which is a black circle with a one and the word edition printed in it. Yep. These first edition cards were printed in limited quantities, making them highly sought after by collectors, especially from sets released between 1996 and 1999. One, first edition cards. These are some of the most valuable cards in the Pokemon TCG, particularly from the original base set Jungle. Number 59 of 111. A first edition holographic Charizard, for example, can fetch thousands of dollars. That's rare, though. Number 59 of 111. Two, two stars. In the Pokemon TC Jungle, one, one star typically indicates a oh, rare those card. Cards got made. Two stars, might indicate that a promo or a That's crazy, bro. From a limited edition set. In this one, in this, 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 this um, Squirtle, this card says number seven at the bottom. This is crazy. If your card says edition one and has these stars, it may be from a special series or promo set, which could add significant value. It's important to check if it's from a well-known set like base set or Neo, or if it's from a lesser known promo set. First edition cards are, are always worth considering for professional grading as they tend to command higher prices on the market, especially for popular Pokemon. Number 27. This is number 27. I don't know, man. A blue star with a white um, underbelly. Number 91 of 105. Number 50 Diglett. I don't think this one has anything. What does it mean when the HP is red, though? Oh, bro. I didn't know I had a Charmander. I do, though. A Delta Species Charmander? Number 49 of 100? It's a basic, though. Brock's Geodude? Geo, Geo. Geo dude. But no, dude, I really did like I love Pokemon, man. I never knew that. I mean I knew you did. I just didn't know it was like to this extent. Yeah, <laughs> dude. Back in the day. I know you used to love the show. Oh yeah, man. What does this dinosaur foot mean? What about the dinosaur bone foot? It looks like a dinosaur footprint on the bottom, underneath the bottom right corner of the image, it's like the badge. What does that mean? The dinosaur footprint symbol you're describing is likely the fossil set symbol from the Pokemon trading card game. Mm. The fossil set, released in 1999, was the third expansion of the Pokemon TCG, and its cards feature a small footprint that looks like a dinosaur bone or fossil at the bottom right corner, underneath the card's image. The fossil set included a variety of popular Pokemon like Aerodactyl, Kabutops, and Gengar, and it followed the base set and jungle expansions. Cards from this set can vary in value, especially if they are first edition, holographic, or in good condition. Holographic cards from the fossil set, particularly first edition versions, can fetch higher prices, often ranging from $20 to several hundred dollars, depending on the card and condition. If your card has this dinosaur bone-like footprint and it's a holographic or first edition, 
it could be worth getting appraised or professionally graded to determine its value. What about the image that looks like a swirl, a swirling funnel? What badge symbol does that uh, stand for? The swirl or funnel-like symbol you're describing is most likely the Neogenesis set symbol, which looks like a swirling tornado or funnel. The Neogenesis set was released in 2000 and was the first expansion of the Pokemon TCG to feature Generation 2 Pokemon, introduced in the Gold and Silver video games. Cards from this set can be quite valuable, especially if they are holographic or first edition. For example, first edition holo cards from the Neogenesis set, such as Lugia or Typhlosion, can sell for hundreds or even thousands of dollars, depending on their condition. If your card has this swirl or tornado-like symbol and is from the Neogenesis set, its value could be significant, particularly for rare and holographic versions in good condition. First edition. As always, Damn. getting it professionally graded would help determine its exact... Number 30 of 111. Mm -hmm. Lieutenant Surge Pikachu. Onyx. These are I always thought you spelled Onyx with a Y. When I got older, I learned you spelled it with the I. I never knew myself. This is, this is... How do we even get on this topic originally? You told me if I ever saw your Pokemon cards. Well, why did I ask you that? I absolutely have no idea. <laughs> me neither. Me neither, brother. Whatever the case may be, I'm glad you did. Did you see the Sparking Zero trailer today? They dropped another one? They're just doing character trailers. So that way, until they reveal the whole cast. If it dropped today, I definitely didn't. There's like 10 a.m. this today. No. The Dimash and Goose Saga trailer. Mm -hmm. And then we have all the energy cards, whatnot. Trainer cards. More energy. I have no idea about stuff like this. I feel like these aren't anything too crazy, but I don't know. These like TV cards, I think. Scene cards, it looks like. Just in case I'm missing something important. 
I, I, I really don't know. What about like things like this? I don't know. You're good. They always do that. I got the secret album. Didn't they thought it was a car door? Yeah. Probably was India. That one like this. Oh, okay. It is like what, seven? And then like cards like this that do the... Let me know in the comments if there's something in this book that you would really want. Also, if you guys have a good understanding of what the price of a, what a lot of these cars would be around, of course, getting them graded would be ideal, but just give me this approximation. What do you guys think? If there's any card in here that you've been looking for that you want, drop it in the comments. Also, let me know some prices. Hey, forgot to look at one last piece. Oh, bro. It was like six cards. One of them alone was like 1200 They were still good.